on our county governments. So I, I hope that when you go back to Nyandarwa, you will be able to share uh, our gratitudes to the people of Nyandarwa. Mr. Speaker, now to the speech of the President. Let me say that my job here as a Senator is not to praise this, the President for giving a speech, but it's to be able to analyze and criticize and critique and correct the speech of the President so that it can be meaningful to this nation. Mr. Speaker, the speech of the President, in my view, and this is my own view, was a bit utopian. It was wishful thinking, it was brief, and when you follow the speech from the beginning, the President was trying to be able to build consensus. He wanted to be able to get a buy-in for his policies, which is not a bad thing. I think in every democracy, any leader would want to be able to have his policies or her policies adopted in a bipartisan approach. So I would not fault the president by doing that. I think even if I was, if I was the one seated in that seat, the first thing I would seek to do is to entice seduce and try to buy in so that the people who are supposed to be criticizing, oversighting my work can be also be able to dance to my tune. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to be very brief but straight to the point and I'll go straight to the issue that to me was an invitation for this House to amend the Constitution through the back door. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues have alluded to Article 153 of the Constitution, which mandates every Cabinet Secretary to appear before a committee of the House, either National Assembly or the Senate, if they are invited. Mr. Speaker, if I read from the President's speech and his wishes, is that I would only conclude that the President would want us to go back to a parliamentary system. And in fact, not only a parliamentary system, but a Westminster kind of system, where the representatives elect one of their own to become the head of government so that they can be accountable to them in that house. Mr. Speaker, if this parliament goes ahead and follow through with the proposal made by the president, we will be amending Article 153 of the Constitution, which is quite explicit and very clear. It states as follows. A cabinet secretary shall attend before a committee of the National Assembly or the Senate when required by the committee to answer any questions concerning a matter for which a cabinet secretary is responsible. Mr. Speaker, I dare say that in this House, apart from the representative, or rather the senators who are elected, and the other ones who are nominated, the only other person who is supposed to stand where I'm standing right now is either the clerk or the sergeant at arms helping us. Mr. Speaker, in fact, a very good example that I can use to be able to demonstrate to the public that any other person who stands here is a stranger is one of our own, Mr. Speaker. 